It is going to be a hot one. I mean, hot and dry. And yeah, if you're an allergy or sinus sufferer, um, this is not the weather pattern that you really like. It is one of those weather patterns that uh, you know you're going to you're going to experience possibly some allergies, maybe some sinus pressure. That's very typical for Santa Ana's. Um, and this is also the season where we get cold, so it's always that time of year where you're like, oh, am I going to get cold, or is this just the Santa Ana? So hopefully, it's just the Santa Ana because it's only going to be around for a few days and then it's out of here. And hopefully, you can just take some over-the-counter meds and just keep it at bay. Uh, 63 degrees out there in uh, Ontario, 62 if you're traveling out towards Los Angeles. And the temperatures today, we're going to get back to about 92 degrees for the Inland Empire. Sunny and heating up, and we're going to continue with this warming trend for the next couple of days. Your sunset's around 634. You're heading out the door, and we do have an area of high pressure building on in here. This area of high pressure is going to grow in size over the next couple of days, so it's 83 tomorrow, and then on Wednesday, it's 85, and then on Thursday, we have more to go. It's going to be about 89 degrees out there. And then we're going to get back to some cooler temperatures after Thursday. I would say Saturday, Sunday is a safe bet for some cooler weather. So it is going to be five days of some hot temperatures here in Southern California. Uh, this is going to be, again, a Santa Ana weather pattern, so dry. And so just below average by Sunday and just about average on Saturday. So yeah, we're going to cool down after that Thursday. Heading for the valleys in the Inland Empire, it's 93. Overnight lows in the 60s.